The 79th session of the General Assembly of the United Nations opened this week in New York City and escalation in Lebanon has put the UN General Assembly to test already. UN Secretary has already feared that Lebanon is on the brink of collapse and could become another Gaza. As the tensions continue to escalate between Israel and Lebanon, as Israeli Prime Minister has rejected calls for ceasefire from Lebanon and in fact has asked its army to step up its offensive against Hezbollah. IDF has eliminated Mohammad Hussein Saroor, the commander of Hezbollah's aerial command, in a precise air force strike. These developments have also added to international alarm that intensifying violence between Israel and Hezbollah in Lebanon has put the region on the brink of a wider catastrophe. The US and France have called for a 21-day temporary ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah to make way for broader negotiations. Now, due to escalating tensions in the Middle East, the Indian Embassy in Beirut has also released a travel advisory urging Indian nationals to exercise heightened caution and advised against travel to Lebanon. Earlier, Prime Minister Modi, on his three-day U.S. visit, addressed the summit of the future at the U.N. General Assembly. He said that success of humanity lies in our collective strength, not on the battlefield. And for global peace and development, reforms in global institutions are important. Reform is the key to relevance. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky also met with U.S. President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the 79th U.N. General Assembly on Wednesday, where he briefed Biden on the current situation on the front lines and also raised the plan of victory. During their meeting, Zelensky also expressed his gratitude for the U.S. support in Ukraine's defense efforts. Listen in. Friends, success of humanity lies in our collective strength, not in the battlefield. Aggression, extremism, chaos and cynicism, a desire to retreat from the world and go it alone. Our task, our test, is to make sure that the forces holding us together are stronger than those who are pulling us apart. We cannot look away, and we will not let up on our support for Ukraine. Not until Ukraine wins a just and durable peace. Now, just ahead of the presidential.